Hi everyone, welcome to another Ancient Warfare Answers. Uh, I'm Murray Darm and uh, Jasper Ortash is with me as well. We are going to answer some of your questions on Ancient Warfare. First up is a question um, about whether Boudicca stood a chance in uh, her rebellion in England, or well, Britain, Britannia. Um, and if you were to add all the, the force multipliers to some form of alliance, what if they used every force multiplier in the book? Could Boudicca have won? Yes, but I well. So what if? So uh, you know, we, we're going to have to uh, put all kinds of if buts, maybes, and uh, and all those things um, uh, in front of everything we say. Um, but you know, it could Boudicca have won the Battle of Watling Street uh, under other circumstances? Uh, possibly. I mean, it's, it's certainly not impossible for a Roman legion to be defeated. The question is really, could Boudicca have won in the long term? Uh, and that you can probably only answer by trying to define what would have been, you know, do we know what Boudicca's long-term goals were? Um, I don't think so. I, it seems she's presented just as a, um, as a tribal leader who goes on a rampage um, to, um, you know, take revenge of what has happened to her and her family. Uh, the abuse, the abuses of the Roman tax collectors, um, and the, um, the the you know the violation of her daughters and herself. Um, so you know we'd have to define something. Is that is that tribal independence, or is that you know clear the Romans off of Britain entirely? Um, I I don't know, but I would say that probably the answer is no. Um, and, and that is because if you look at the Romans in general, their, their behavior, how they deal with, um, any kind of enemy really over their entire history is that they fight the war until it's over, until the enemy is on its knees, um, and has no fight left anymore. Uh, so that means that, you know, she might've had defeated the Romans. Um, and there's, there's certainly more wars that begin that way. Um, by, uh, by a series of defeats or, or plundering armies. I mean, you might think of the beginning, say, of the uh, um, Mithridatic War when um, uh, the uh, Pontic army goes all the way through Asia Minor and uh, even into Greece and thousands of Romans are killed. And uh, if you believe Tacitus and Cassius Dio, then tens of thousands of Roman um, citizens and, uh, and allies and pacified Britons are killed by uh, Boudicca's armies in the, um, at the beginning of the revolt. But the Romans will always come back and, and they will, you know, take you out. Um, and if you look at a similar example, uh, only a couple years after Boudicca's revolt, um, namely the Jewish revolt, the, and specifically Masada, that's probably the best example. Masada is a desert fortress. Um, strictly speaking, the Romans probably could have put a garrison around it and made sure that nobody could get in or out and just left, you know, left them there to soak until, um, until their supplies ran out and they died of starvation. But instead, what do the Romans do? They, they get legions in there. They put camps around it. They build, build a, a huge siege ramp that's still there in the middle of nowhere, and the only reason um, we can think of is that it is a, a huge physical reminder of the fact that you just don't get away with it. Um, it, it th that siege ramp and that whole operation against Masada is a big old flag that says, you will not get away with it. You can, you can revolt. Um, you can you can defeat armies in the beginning. You can kill the you know take out detachments, kill civilians, whatever you want to do. But in the long term, we will come get you. Uh, and I think that that in the end would be the 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 answer to Boudicca. Um, even if the Romans, if had they managed to throw to throw the Romans off of Britain, maybe, maybe. Um, but you know, even, even when the, there's a breakaway British empire in the, the late third century, the Romans come back. So 
Uh, I think in the long term, Murray, uh, uh, there is no chance for Boudica. I'm sorry <laughs> to say. What do you think? Yeah. And so, well, I think I think uh, you know that the victories at Colchester and then Londinium were very much. She caught the Romans off guard, and they underestimated her. Um, you know what what she was capable of, and I think that um, the sacking of both of those cities was a victory for her, but she couldn't have maintained that kind of uh, surprise. And I think when she fought the legions of Watling Street, even though she outnumbered them, uh, you know, she was defeated by a, a organized Roman force. Um, you know, there's stories about having the, the wagons behind her army and that basically stopped them from being able to retreat. Uh, and I think that, again, you might argue that if she had maintained guerrilla warfare and, and ambush tactics for longer perhaps it would have worked um but it's it's hard to know and i think again yeah what were her were her aims to unify britain against the romans that certainly there's no evidence of that she was a local iceni queen you know as you say uh, avenging wrongs from the taxpayer and and wrongs against her person and her family so that hot anger would have would have gone out eventually um and Yes, the Romans would have invaded somewhere else and, and punished because that's what the Romans do. Uh, and, you know, even with the logistics of invading Britain again, um, it's the perfect opportunity for, uh, well, e you know, even Nero to, to reinvade Britain could have been a fabulous military coup for his military reputation if it, if it had come to that. Um, so <laughs> I think that that's, you know, that, that, exactly. that would have been something yeah. that the Roman commanders would have taken advantage of. Um, and of course, obviously, with 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 Nero, it would have been uh, you can imagine all the Roman commanders doing rocks as his paper as to which one of them was actually going to take responsibility to reconquer Britain, knowing that if they were too successful, just like Corbulo in the east, then they'd be falling on their sword because they'd become suspiciously successful uh, under such a bad emperor. But um, you know, once you've got Vespasian in power, then you know, reconquering Britain, indeed, you know, the the the, the pushing forward of the of the frontier in Britain under uh, Vespasian, especially with with uh, Cerealis and then Frontinus and then of course Agricola, is is still uh, a source of great uh, you know reputation building back at Rome. So I think you're absolutely right that even if Boudicca had had more success, it wouldn't have taken long for Romans to send more troops across to to you know make sure that she was put in her place and Rome, that Britain was completely conquered and, and subjugated. Yeah, um, maybe it's a good, good point to come back to the whole alliance thing. She, she gets one another tribe to, to help her out. The, um, the Romans, of course, they used the, the various tribes against, they played them off against each other uh, in the original invasion. So presumably that would have happened again. It, I, don't, I don't think it would have been very easy for Boudicca to unite all the British tribes um, uh, against Rome, um, so that's that's a disadvantage. And um, just coming back to another example, um, another example of a, a difficult war that the Romans in the end won uh, is the Bar Kokhba revolt in the one the one thirties AD, um, where the sources are terrible. Um, but there are there's enough information to to know that the Romans really get um, you know the the, the Jewish uh, rev, um, the revolt there they kill a lot of Romans and it takes the Romans years to recapture everyone uh, everything and it requires a lot of reinforcements it's so bad that it seems like there's a dearth of um, diploma in the twenty years afterward. Uh, and then there's a surge suddenly in the um, late 160s AD, which suggests that a hell of a lot of new um, auxiliaries had to be recruited uh, during the Barcopa revolt, who then finished their service uh, in, um, at, at the, in the late 160s and got their uh, diploma. So... Um, just, just another example. They will do it. Yeah, and that they wouldn't. You know, they weren't facing the same. They weren't facing the same um, attrition rate that had ha happened during the revolt because so many of them uh, get to the point of getting a diploma. Um, that that whole idea that uh, 
a lot of them weren't around anymore <laughs> um, earlier on. I think we got this one to death. Right. Um, so, I, yeah, the end result, I think, is Boudicca might have had more success earlier on, uh, but in the long term, no. Indeed. Well, there, I think we've answered that question with a definitive 10-minute no. Um, and we will see you again for another Ancient Warfare Answer. Thank <laughs> you.